if you try to make the same movie again, it's silly. First of all, it's already made, and in the case of Robocop, it's brilliantly made. Uh, and so we, we lashed into some key concepts of Robocop, and then we updated them for the present and for what's relevant in the present, uh, and which, which is actually amazingly relevant, because we are seeing drones being used in wars now, and this creates a lot of issues. Uh, for instance, you know, when there was the Vietnam War ended because soldiers were dying, right? When you have robots fighting wars, you don't have soldiers dying. So whomever has uses robots for law enforcement or for war uh, doesn't have a lot of incentive to stop it. To, and, and so this poses a lot of questions that are being debated right now in the press. If you open the New York Times, you're going to see articles about drones every, almost every day. Should we use them? Shouldn't we use them? And our movie is a lot about that. It has a, a political point of view on this issue. We also have a drama because it's a movie about a man who wakes up and finds out that he's now a robot and he has a wife and he has a kid and he cannot even touch them anymore because he doesn't have a sense of touch. And, and so how do you deal with that? When you, it's, it's a little bit, it has a parallel with uh, someone who goes to war and comes back home without a leg, but it, it, it's this in extreme way, right? So we have a movie that has a political dimension to it, but it's also very dramatic in the sense that this guy has to cope with the reality of being a robot. We've got some of the best actors there are in the world, like, you know, Samuel Jackson, I don't have to say anything about that. Gary Oldman is a genius. Um, Abby Cornish delivered an amazing performance. Joe Kinnaman, I mean, you see for yourself. You know, it's very hard to do what he done dramatically, to, to, to play a man who is inside a robot's body and all the conflict that entails. It's just fantastic. Jackie O'Healy, great, great actor. Michael Keaton killed it. I mean, it's an amazing cast. It's just, for me, it's just a great honor to be able to work with them. It's carnival without the naked women. <laughs> But I heard at night you get the naked women too. I don't know, I haven't been here. I've just arrived here. Uh, now seriously, it's amazing how many people come, how interesting it is, how alive this world is uh, of, you know, the comic books, the movies about the comic books character. It's exciting to see. You know, they're gonna have a, a good time because we kept a lot of the punch of the original movie uh, in the irony, in the political commentary, uh, and also in the philosophical depth of what was being discussed in that movie. We kept that. We did our best to honor Robocop. So I hope you guys like it. Yeah.